Welcome back everybody. This is Mandy and I wanted to do some blooms to see if I could redeem myself from a terrible bloom attempt earlier this week. This first color is Pineapple Crush from Color Art. It's a gorgeous color from the Primary Elements Glitz collection. And I got this color inspiration from a bloom I saw someone post. I think it was Lisa Marvin. I don't have the same colors, but I use similar colors. Got very different results, but that just seems to be the way my bloom mojo is going this week. Uh, so this is Turquoise Green from Amsterdam. And I like to try colors that other people share. This is Moss Green from Color Art. It's a primary elements color because um, I like to try things other people share on just when I'm practicing and wanting to play around because there are things I would never put together. That's Australian sky blue from Matisse. And that really stretches my thinking when it comes to colors. This color is Sweet Tooth from Color Art. I do end up later on realizing this color is a little dark for um, what I had in mind and I switched out this color with Parisian Lily not for this particular pour but later on in this video and I'm not sure that I will clearly explain that because I cut out a lot of fails that's why I'm doing a voiceover for this part and then part of it is not a voiceover and that last color is Stalo Turquoise by Golden I also later realized that my Thalo Turquoise Golden was a little bit thin and I mixed it with my Thalo Turquoise from Atelier which was a little bit thick. But So this is a white titanium white cell activator. But you guys when I tell you I had a terrible day trying to do blooms the other day it is like it was a terrible day. I couldn't even do a color test on a tile. So this that we're pouring on now is a 7-inch hexagon, and uh, mostly because I don't have any room. And this was a color test anyway. I don't have any room right now because I have a lot of things drying or waiting to be resined. So there's just not a lot of space, but I needed to see if I could get my mojo back. So I'm using the world's smallest leaf blower to try to blow this out. Um, my white cell activator... It's too thin and I mixed it the same way I always do so I don't know if it's just the hot weather here in Texas um, and you may not be able to tell from looking at it but where you normally have like lacing it's almost doing like this weird like it reminds me of like a hairy spider leg where it kind of has like miniature veins that are like they're not, they don't look stable. It looks unstable. So this bloom turned out very different than what I envisioned. Still pretty, but different. But you'll see what I'm talking about in the subsequent little smaller blooms that I try to do. This was better than the other day. This first one wasn't too shabby. Sorry, you can't perfectly see what I'm doing, but... Um, basically blowing out some places I didn't do a very good job blowing with the little blower. This is why when you go a little bit bigger, that blower is not really conducive to larger blooms because you have to have a really big center blowout to get it to work. I love the colors. I mean, look at that yellow. So gorgeous. And this bloom isn't bad, it just um, is darker than what I was going for. So I realized I needed to ease up on the Thalo Turquoise, and then I end up later on switching out Sweet Tooth with Parisian Lily, which is one of the Bling It colors. And it's a softer, more subtle pink. But this is probably the best of the blooms that we do in this particular session. So I'm going to share my fails with you guys. So you'll see that I decide I would like to try to make a set of coasters 
while I have everything out because again I don't have a lot of room for anything larger and so I'm just picking out some goobers but you'll see my struggle in just a minute I didn't even I didn't even include all of the the struggles tough stop that please sorry my dog's licking his toes again never fails as soon as we start recording some somebody wants to lick their toes Dogs, that is, not people. So I'm just popping a couple bubbles because I had just decanted my white house paint yesterday. And so it still had a few too many bubbles for my liking. But um, I'm going to get my Bloom Mojo back. Hang in there with me, everyone. I'm going to try to share the journey with you, but... This is just a representation of how difficult it was. <laughs> um, this bloom is pretty. It's not my best, but it's pretty. But you'll see coming up, we have quite a few that are more challenging. So here is our close-up of our little 7-inch hexagon. Still really beautiful. Not exactly the color scheme I was going for, but I love the way the colors play together anyway. Um... I love the little pop of the pineapple crush in the back. I should have used less thalo blue because I wanted the pineapple crush to be a more dominant color. And I think I just used too much thalo blue. So, or thalo turquoise. I knew that was wrong. <laughs> thalo turquoise. So hang in with me and we're going to try some smaller ones. We're going to try a similar color palette on some coasters so far. Whoa. That's too much paint. Oh well. It's not like I can get it back. I might not be able to get some of it back. It's because I just opened this jar. I'm going to substitute Parisian Lily where I was using Sweet Tooth. So I think it might be a little softer. Also running out of pineapple crush so once I figure this out I'm gonna have to mix up some more big puddle of pineapple crush this is our last shot and I'm not out I just need to mix up some more I could not run out of this one Turquoise green. Moss. Almost like a lot of these colors are great together, but it almost feels like pineapple crush, turquoise green. Parisian Lily and Thalo Turquoise would get it done. Wait a minute. Sky Blue. Maybe even Sky, sky Blue. I love this color. I never thought I would like a color like this, but I do. Making a mess. Parisian Lily. <laughs> Over here showing you colors and not anywhere near the camera. It's awesome. Been having some. Whoa! I just went crazy with that color. I didn't really mean to do that. I've been having issues with my lighting for some reason. I don't know if I messed up the angle of the camera. I'm not sure, but it's pretty bogus. Thalo turquoise likes to take over, so. But it's a transparent color, so. As long as the color underneath it isn't too my cell activator is pretty watery give me a I honestly don't know how people do four to one ratios for cell activator because my three to one with Amsterdam gets watery sometimes but I think it's because it's so hot here in Texas and it's particularly humid because it's been raining so I 
just had to add a dollop to it. For some reason, this batch, I don't know if I, that looks a lot better. I don't know what happened. I've always been safe with three to one, and it has just been wonky. This whole little batch that I made has been wonky this whole time. <clears throat> now, part of my problem is I've been using too much, and that looks like too little. That's probably about right. I think this pink is going to work better with what I had in mind. If I can get my cord to stop wrapping around things. Too much cell activator again. Let's see if it will still work. It looks better. We'll give it a second. <sighs> see, I want that yellow and the green to be more dominant than the aqua, I mean, than the phthalo blue. See if I can zoom you in without losing focus. Do you have a little bit of opportunity to break some surface tension here? But this is selling up a lot more round and pretty lacing. What was happening before is it was like, like it was trying to do like what paint does in flow trawl sometimes where it kind of spider legs off. And I was like, what is happening? Stop doing that. But that's apparently what it does when it's too thin. So I'll get, probably make skins out of those first two I did. With the sweet tooth and the wacky cell activator. Now I kind of want to do another hexagon and see what the difference is. <clears throat> Just letting more develop here in the middle before we spin. All I'm doing here is breaking the surface tension in the middle. Not actually blowing down to blow things open, just breaking the tension. Because the cells that are under there will come through that way. We already got a nice little cluster right there. I know that this is not a large piece, but sometimes practicing is important to share. And color palette testing is good to start small, make sure you're going to like it. Make sure it's going to work out for you before you go big. Plus, I don't have any room for anything right now. I like it. A little less thalo turquoise maybe on the next one because I want the yellow and the green to show but they show a lot better with the changes that we made a lot of it is using the right amount of cell activator and not too much domineering color kind of messed that up there but I'm gonna spin it out a little bit more I usually have more controlled spinning but I'm trying to get this kind of over the edge so it looks more intentional. So it's looking like a white thumbprint. There's paint under there, so I'm sure it'll dry fine. I like it. Whoa. So since I had to mix up more Pineapple Crush, I thought we might sub out the moss with this juicy pear from Color Art. They have similar undertones, but not quite the same, obviously not as warm. And I have just a little bit of it left, so I thought it would be a good time to give it a shot, because I need to use it anyway. And now I'm pretty much just playing around, because I think I've lost hope in my first couple coasters making the cut. They may not even make this video. 
it's who just wants to watch fail after fail after fail. So I want a nice, hefty pineapple crush petal. So I really want it to be a pretty dominant color. And then turquoise green. Sorry about the shadow of my stand. I have a light bulb out in here. Turquoise green. So I really want these two colors to be pretty, pretty much the primary color. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this juicy pear. This pear color is cool because it has like a blue shift to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of sky blue. And then Parisian Lily. And then Halo Turquoise. Okay. My questionable cell activator. See, try not to put too much because I've been doing that all day. I think I just got out of the habit of small stuff. Cell activator is looking a lot better. It seemed like I was not going to have enough, and then toward the end, I was like, Oh, I have a lot. Tough balance, huh? spin off anyway. Still a little too much right here, but I think it's going to be okay. I better stop messing with it. But I like the way the juicy pear responded. I feel like it didn't dominate the pink as much as the moss did. All right, let's spin. I had to clean all that paint off my spinner. I was starting to not be able to get things off. It's obviously very lopsided because of the extra cell activator, but much better looking. And you can see a lot more of the pineapple crush, which is what I wanted. So this is a lot more what I had in mind. So this one may not, this one may not get used as a skin. I might actually finish this set. I think I have probably just enough juicy pear to finish it out. So let me know what you think. Can't see as well as I can, so let me zoom you in. Whoa. Zoom you in. Whoa. Sorry, I'm trying to zoom you in, but my fingers are covered in paint. There's some places where the cell activator still looks a little crazy, but on the whole, other than this, like from here over, I love it. From here over where I had too much cell activator, it's not the greatest. But from here over, I love it. Let me see if I can bring you back on regular height and show you in a close-up. My hands are too covered in paint to turn my other light off. We'll try to do one more. I will probably just omit the failed coasters for the sake of brevity. Whoa. Autofocus issues. This is what I hate about this. It's like, stop it. See, so pretty. I 
It's really very pretty. And the Parisian Lily is a much softer pink choice. All right, I'll be right back. Too much pillow paint again. Also, these Home Depot hexagon tiles are great, but they are sometimes hard to get a, an even coverage on because they kind of, I don't know if I can describe it, but like here's the tile and they kind of do this, which is not a problem at all because they weren't great as coasters. But when you're painting on them is when I notice they're not like perfectly level. I don't know if that makes sense. Because once you resin them and stuff, they're fine. But like if you were to com compare them to like a floors and decor hexagon that's perfectly flat, um, it's very different. Big puddle of this. I'm going to do one more with you guys and then I'm going to spare you from watching the rest. I feel like I usually get my groove after like the first or second one. Especially, I'm, um, you know, a little out of practice. I haven't done these in a while. And the other day, this is how bad my blooming was the other day. It's like, I was like, do I even know how to do this? Like, <laughs> so even if it meant making a set of coasters, I needed to get my bloom mojo back. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but some days your painting session is so bad that you're just like, do I even know what I'm doing anymore? I'm not sure that I do. Oh, I know in the other one, it might be hard to see this Parisian Lily, but it's like such a soft, dusty pink. And against that yellow and those other colors, it even shifts a little peach. So it really is a great complement to the, these colors. I know it's strange because one of the things that inspired me to try this is when I saw the colors together, I was like, those are strange colors to put together. You know? But here I am loving them. I think that's why I like to pay attention to what other artists share because I'm like, I would have never tried that, and thanks to them, I will. All right. Oh, here we go. That didn't go very well. Let's go around here. What in the heck? So there's like a fine line between too much cell activator and not enough, I guess, huh? A lot of that had to do with how I blew that out, obviously, but that was really bananas. Let me bring you further in so you can see a little better now that I can watch the camera. So if I can't watch it, I never know when it's auto-focusing out. Like, we have a lot better cell coverage in the center because of the minimal cell activator, which decreases. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. If you look over here, you can see those places where it looks like it's trying to travel away. That's, that's the look I get when there's too much cell activator. It's almost like the lightning, the lightning, the lacing doesn't break up, but it travels into the other paint. I don't know how to describe that. I blew too much down in here, so I don't know how this is going to spin out. Let's see. Not terrible. Not awesome. Not terrible. Like the other day when I had a bad painting day, I couldn't even do a color test on a coaster, y'all. That's how bad it was. And I've done kajillions of coasters. So that's, but that's just to give you a point of reference for how bad of a painting day it was. It was so bad. I love the color combination here that we have. It's a great combination. I love it. I just got to get the cell activator ratio right and the lacing right. This one actually turned out really pretty. It has a bubble I need to pop, but 
I think it turned out really pretty. Hopefully you can see it. I realize you can't see all the perfect shimmer because of how far away you are and the stupid autofocus. But I think I'll finish the rest of these off camera and I will bring you down to see this one up close. Um, just know this isn't my proudest blooming moment, you know, just playing around. Hey everybody, here's our close up. You can see the beautiful shimmer up close, but do you see the kind of the cell instability? I don't normally get that. Out here it's perfect. Beautiful tight little lacing. So some of this is from too much cell activator. But you know what occurred to me as soon as I turned off the camera? I've had way too much pillow paint on almost all of these. So I think that's also part of the problem. Is there's just too much movement, I guess. But you see what I mean about that Parisian lily? Look how it just highlights little pers little places all perfectly. Super beautiful. I love the combo. I'm glad we finally landed here. I'd like to try this on a bigger surface when I have more drying room. But I feel like this will at least make a nice set of coasters. They're bright and summery and cheery and they'd be good for spring too, so I like them. My favorite parts are where the lily color just peeks through so obviously not perfect but I like it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think I enjoy practicing with you guys I know not everyone's gonna be a masterpiece and don't forget about the discount codes listed in the description box below and I appreciate you guys so very much have a great day